So today, the United States Department of State is pleased to announce a reward of up to $5 million for information leading to the financial disruption of the KTCO or the arrest and convictions of its leaders. The Kinahan cartel has been notorious for its violent crimes, with hitmen like Jonathan Keough carrying out assassinations for the criminal organization. Recently, Keough found himself back behind bars, and the reason why might shock you. In this shocking video, let's uncover the latest news on Kinahan cartel hitman Jonathan Keough and the reason behind his recent incarceration. You won't believe what he did this time to land back in jail. Over the past decade, the Kinahan Organized Crime Group, also known as the Kinahan Cartel, has emerged as one of the most powerful criminal organizations in the world. This Irish transnational organized crime group has been linked to murder, drug trafficking and terrorism and is estimated to be worth up to 1 billion new roads. The group was founded by Christy Kinahan in the 1990s during Ireland's economic boom and his eldest son Daniel now runs the organization on a daily basis. The Kinahan cartel started as a street gang of heroin traffickers in Dublin's inner city but quickly expanded its operations globally. The group has established a significant presence in the United Arab Emirates, Spain and the UK. The cartel's criminal activities have brought them under increased scrutiny with law enforcement agencies in several countries working to dismantle the organization. Christy Kinahan has a criminal history dating back to the late 1970s when he was convicted of various crimes including housebreaking, auto theft, burglary, handling stolen items and forgery. Before Daniel took over as the organization's direct leader, Christie held the post. In recent years, the Irish courts have recognized the Kinahan Organized Crime Group as an international trafficking organization that engages in murder. Daniel Kinahan, who runs the crime empire, has seen over 50 of his associates locked up and serving nearly 600 years in prison between them. In addition, eight members of his gang are serving time for murders committed in Ireland and Spain with minimum sentences of 20 years behind bars. Those serving life sentences include Eamon Covert, David Hunter and James Quinn, who were convicted for their involvement in high-profile murders such as that of Mickey Barr, Gary Hutch and Gareth Hutch. In Ireland, anyone found guilty of murder receives a life sentence, which can potentially result in them spending the rest of their lives in prison due to the so-called indeterminate sentence. However, Data shows that the average life prisoner in Ireland spends around 20 years in prison, and the Kinahan murderers are expected to serve at least that amount of time. Some of the lower-ranked members of the organization are serving sentences as short as three years. Jonathan Cayo, also known as the Cartel Killer, has recently been moved from Midlands Prison to Mount Joy Prison after threatening two jail authorities. Cayo, who is serving a life sentence for the murder of Gareth Hutch, has a history of violence and has had fights with other prisoners, including Gary Thompson, a hitman for the Kinahan cartel. The transfer of Kayo to Mount Joy has put prison guards on high alert, as they have been informed of his violent history. In 2021, Kayo was transferred from Port Louis prison for threatening another officer. He has also had run-ins with other Kinahan members. Kayo was convicted along with Thomas Fox and his sister Regina Kayo for the murder of Gareth Hutch. The court found that Kayo was one of two individuals who shot Hutch four times in Dumblin's Avondale House apartments. The judge ruled that Kayo fired the deadly shots. Kayo had also identified targets for the Kinahan mob and was responsible for orchestrating an attempt to kill Regency Hotel shooter Kevin Murray. Murray was a dissident Republican who was revealed to be a member of the gang responsible for the murder of gangster David Byrne. Kayo's transfer to Mount Joy was for administrative purposes and it is believed that he will not have the same impact there as he did in Midlands Prison. However, his violent history and involvement with the Kinahan cartel make him a threat to prison guards and other inmates. Further, Kayo traveled to Northern Ireland after attending the funeral of Eddie Hutch, an innocent murder victim. Kayo's intention was to kill Murray, a psycho who was associated with the Regency gang. However, Kayo was unable to carry out the hit in Murray's native town of Koh Tai Roan due to concerns that he was being watched by PSNI. Murray was later jailed for life for the murder of Gareth Hutch on May 24, 2016. A source reveals that Kayo was knowledgeable about the northern Ianyala and volunteered to travel to Koh Tai Roan to monitor Murray's movements. 
Despite Murray's poor health, Kyle was determined to kill him close to his house. Accordingly, Kyle was paid a 30,000 euro bonus to travel north and identify Flat Cap's movements. This was in addition to the 100,000 euros he and his colleague, Hitman Eamon Convert, received to locate more targets. Kayo had a violent history and was elevated to the position of terror gang enforcer in 2009, despite a dispute between the INLA and Kinahan criminal Fat Freddy Thompson. Kayo had previously participated in INLA marches and color celebrations. It is also worth noting that the murderer, Gerard Mackin, who was acquainted with INLA thug Gerard Mackin, first enlisted in the ranks of the terrorist organization in 2006. Kayo later volunteered his assistance following the murder of David Burke. According to sources, INLA hitman Kayo was hired by the Kinahan cartel to kill Hutch as a favor and to prove his loyalty to their plan of assassinating members of the Hutch family. The Kinahan cartel had access to over 100 weapons and ammunition and employed several contract killers. Despite having connections to organized crime gangs, Kayo was not considered a prominent figure. However, he was chosen for his first murder because of his familiarity with the North inner city. Kayo had 105 prior convictions and had been charged with 51 offenses between 2001 and this year, including trespassing, public order violations, criminal damage, and illegal gun ownership. After warning Lord Mayor Niall Ring that his life was in jeopardy, Hutch was attacked shortly after. The hitman had been accused of 44 offenses and had 22 convictions before his arrest in London in June 2017. He was discovered by the UK's National Crime Agency after he registered for an online passport. His most severe conviction was in 2009 when he was sentenced to eight years in prison for having explosives and being a member of an illegal organization. He had other convictions for theft, fraud, drunk driving and drug-related offenses. Despite his attempts to flee the law after the murder of Gareth Hutch, Kayo was in prison for life. The hit crew was named as a suspect an hour after the murder and was later located in the UK. Kayo spent a year on the run before being caught under the direction of Assistant Commissioner Pat Leahy and Chief Superintendent Ward. The investigation into the murder lasted two years and involved officers from the National Bureau of Criminal Investigation, the Garda Technical Bureau, and Forensic Science Ireland, as well as investigators from the North Central Division and U District Detective Team of the Guard. During the investigation into the murder of Gareth Hutch, officers conducted 64 interviews, gathered 650 statements, made 850 lines of inquiry, carried out 19 searches, and seized 64 firearms. They also seized 19 phones, viewed 40,000 hours of CCTV footage, and collected 497 exhibits. Kayo, an INLA hitman, was involved in the murder to favor the Kinahan mob and prove his dedication to their plan to assassinate Hutch's family members. He is the third senior member of the Kinahan cartel to be imprisoned for murder, following Fat Freddy Thompson and Cumberton. The sickening CCTV footage of the murder was used by authorities to identify the two suspects, who approached Hutch as he exited his car outside his apartment. Two men wearing masks and carrying pistols ran towards Hutch from behind and he appeared to be unaware of their presence. After the murder, it was revealed that Hutch had expressed concerns for the safety of himself and his seven-year-old son, who was also at risk from the Christy Dapper Don Kinahan's gang. Hutch had requested a move from his flat on North Cumberland Street in Dublin's north inner city, but was unable to send a private letter to council leaders after his murder. So what do you think of the reason why Kinahan cartel's hitman, Jonathan Keogh, got jailed again? Comment your views below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more such uploads.